to, to really show off the fact that the LinkedIn profile, as Tim said, was, uh, is you know, very, very small in terms of memory footprint uh, and, and very, very quick, we managed to, to load the to, to load the Liberty profile onto the Raspberry Pi. So, so this, this Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized computer uh, which is actually made in England by the, the guys from the Raspberry Pi Foundation, uh, Liz Upton and Eve, uh, Evan Upton. And if I just take you around the board, what we've got here is we've got an SD card, uh, which is the uh, <laughs> got an SD card, and this is, this is effectively the hard disk. Uh, we have a full HDMI output, um, and that'll that'll if you have you know uh, the right software and a full uh, HD ready movie, you can actually output full HDMI 1080p uh, to uh, an HD television. You've also got, as this is a full computer, you've also got uh, an Ethernet out and two USB uh, connectors. You have audio out and component out. If we actually look at the board itself, we have uh, this is this is a cool chip. This is uh, a CPU, a GPU, and uh, the RAM itself. So you've got the main processor, the graphics processor, and 256 meg of RAM. Uh, and you've also got this chip here, which is both the controller for the uh, Ethernet and the hub for the USBs. So so what we actually got running on uh, the Raspberry Pi was uh, the, the full Liberty profile, which will run and has been tested on both the OpenJDK and the J9 uh, uh, JRE, JDK. Um, and we actually connected that up to the app log sample. You know, we, we can show how dynamic the, the, the Liberty profile is, uh, even on the Raspberry Pi. And we actually connected up to MQTT and RSMB, which is the really small message broker. And uh, kindly, with kind use of Annie Stanford Clark, uh, we used his house to be able to actually turn lights on and off uh, entirely remotely from 50 miles away. Uh, Viewers energy consumption, turn towel rails on and off is absolutely awesome.